We saw in the last lesson that a really nice advantage of Seaborn is that it works well with Panda's data frames. In this lesson, we'll see another big advantage that Seaborn offers, the ability to quickly add a third variable to your plots by adding color. To showcase this cool feature in Seaborn, we'll be using Seaborn's built-in tips dataset. You can access it by using the load dataset function in Seaborn and passing in the name of the dataset. These are the first five rows of the TIPS dataset. This dataset contains one row for each table served at a restaurant and has information about things like the bill amount, how many people were at the table, and when the table was served. Let's explore the relationship between the total bill and TIP columns using a scatter plot. Here is the code to generate it. The total bill per table in dollars is on the x-axis, and the total tip in dollars is on the y-axis. We can see from this plot that larger bills are associated with larger tips. What if we want to see which of these data points are smokers versus non-smokers? Seaborn makes this super easy. You can set the hue parameter equal to the data frame column smoker and then Seaborn will automatically color each point by whether they are a smoker. Plus, it will add a legend to the plot automatically. If you don't want to use pandas, you can set it equal to a list of values instead of a column name. Hue also allows you to assert more control over the ordering and coloring of each value. The hue order parameter takes in a list of values and we'll set the order of the values in the plot accordingly. Notice how the legend for smoker now lists yes before no. You can also control the colors assigned to each value using the palette parameter. This parameter takes in a dictionary, which is a data structure that has key value pairs. This dictionary should map the variable values to the colors you want to represent the value. Here, we create a dictionary called Hue Colors that maps the value Yes to the color black and the value No to the color red. When we set Hue equal to Smoker and the palette parameter equal to this dictionary, we have a scatter plot where smokers are represented with black dots and non smokers are represented with red dots. In the last example, we use the words black and red to define what the Hue Colors should be. This only works for a small set of color names that are defined by matplotlib. Here's the list of matplotlib colors and their names. Note that you can use a single letter matplotlib abbreviation instead of the full name. You can also use an HTML color hex code instead of the matplotlib color names, which allows you to choose any color you want to. Here's an example using HTML hex codes. Make sure you put the hex codes in quotes with a pound sign at the beginning. As a final note, Hue is available in most of Seaborn's plot types. For example, this count plot shows the number of observations we have for smokers versus non-smokers, and setting Hue equal to sex divides these bars into subgroups of males versus females. From this plot, we can see that males outnumber females among both smokers and non-smokers in this dataset. We'll be using Hue a lot in this course, so let's practice what we've learned to round out the